Hello friends, welcome back. We are in lesson number 54. In lesson number 53, we saw a very interesting animation where Sprite moved in an inclined path and then climbed up a staircase, right? Now, continuing with the same thing in this, uh, same theme, in this video, we'll see how we can make our Sprite do a somersault. Now, somersault for everybody's benefit is basically this acrobatic move where a person, a gymnast typically goes up in the sky, does a tumble and then comes back to the ground, right? So we'll make all this happen. To our sprite and for this purpose we'll you know we have chosen a sprite called avery walking and we have placed her on this uh, you know boardwalk so we are going to make her do this animation uh, in this project right now the first thing that i'm going to do is that i'll give my avery one more costume right so every you know i'll take her let's say uh, avery walking b i'll duplicate this and i'll put this one in the end uh, later on we'll see this why and i'll call this avery somersault right now the purpose of this costume is that it will be as though avery is folding i mean avery is sort of sitting down with her legs folded right because that's how she uh, remember goes up in the sky right an acrobat that's how it kind of goes up in the sky right so i'll make her legs legs fold and i will you know do this i take both her legs and i'll align them once again right i mean this is becoming a bit little bit too too much to uh no, so I just press this, turn this a little bit and then just connect her back. So notice what I've done is that I've made Avery as though she is sitting down, right? So she's walking, walking, you know, in all these costumes. But then in this particular one, it looks like she's sitting down, right? Now we'll make use of this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to make Avery walk, right? So we're going to make her walk, take the stumble and then walk again, right? So the walking part is quite straightforward. I'll say when flag click, say switch costume to Avery uh, walking A, uh, you know, I'll make her go to a certain point. So let's say I'll go in the wherever I was, right? And also I'll do point in direction 90 to make sure everything starts upright because here I'm going to use turning blocks. It's good to always, uh, you know, initialize the direction, right? Now thereafter, it's something we have done many, many times. So uh, I'll just say repeat, let's say, you know, repeat say five times. So I'll make her walk a little bit fast this time. So, you know, I'll say, uh, let's say in the motion block, I'll say change X by uh, say something like you know 0. Point, uh, so sorry change x by say about 20 and say wait for 0. 0.1 seconds and i'll also use the next costume block right so uh, you know if i did this let's say no i just did this so you will find that avery will walk however there will be some funny behavior because suddenly she'll take the sitting costume we want to avoid that and that part also we have done for example in the last video where we are in lesson number 50 so i'll just say if costume number is equal to five because remember that's where the sitting costume is so i'll say if uh, you know the costume number is equal to five right so then i can directly switch back to costume every walking a right so that will avoid this costume five completely from this whole process right so i'll say uh, you know so i'll say switch costume to every walking a right now this uh, will basically ensure that every walks kind of like regularly right now we want her to take a tumble uh, so we will switch her costume to the avery somersault costume which we have created and notice if i just did this avery is now sitting down in this position right now remember those uh, you know videos when we were doing this polygons and stuff uh, uh, i guess video 38 and and so on 37 38 probably right so there we learned about how we created circles or polygons by making sprite turn right so let's say I use some simple, similar logic and I said every, you know, maybe turn, let's say 10 times and maybe, you know, take a turn of say 36 degrees. Now, why do I choose these numbers? Because 36 times 10 is 360, which is like a full complete circle, right? So if I, let's say, did this, what you will see is that every will come here and it will, it will make a complete turn coming back to this point, right? Now, I do not want it to turn at the exact same place. So what I can do is that I can make it move as well as it turns right so as long i mean along with it turning right so for example let's say i say every every time you turn maybe change your x by say 20 right so if i did this uh, what will happen is that i will have every sort of going forward a little bit right but let's say along with this x i want it to sort of go up and come down right so what i can do is that i can split this repeat into two parts i'll duplicate this portion right and i'll say five and five on each so you know so i'll say five times of this and five times of this the reason i'm doing this is because in the first time when in the first five when the average turning say 180 degrees is going upside down i'm going to change its y by 
20 points each time, right? So which means it will make it climb up 20 points. So I say change y by 20. Remember, changing y by 20 will make it go up. And in the remaining 5, I will make it come. I will make its y change by, say, minus 20. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to ensure that it goes up the same amount. It comes down, right? Otherwise, it'll just fly away somewhere or it'll keep going down, right? And just to sort of, you know, stabilize this a little bit, I'll add a little bit of a weight here, right? So let's say, probably say 0.1 seconds, right? So it looks a little bit better. And with this, in fact, you will see that Avery makes a fairly decent jump, right? So you'll see Avery comes here, it kind of tumbles around and comes back to this position. Once it's back to this position, in fact, I can just you know, a duplicate this entire piece of code. I mean, obviously, I don't want this portion. And I can just every have, you know, basically uh, complete the remaining part of the journey by walking once again, right? And again, I'll be avoiding, uh, you know, the somersault costume, right? So notice every takes a tumble, comes back and just walks through, right? So it looks pretty cool. Um, again, lots of interesting principles involved here. You can experiment with this. But I hope you find this useful. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.